Now, let's go back sa isang random post na sinagutan natin, yung 1 to 5. Now, sa video ito, dito na tayo sa 5, 6, at 7. At itong post na ito ay galing sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All post ni Nesty Boy Valenzuela. At abangan nyo naman yung 9 to 10 sa next na video. Now, para sa mga bago pa sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin. Now, wag na kayong mag-message dyan. Tambak na yan ang mga messages. Kung meron kayong concern, dito na lang sa Lunalin Vlog or dito sa Free Reviewers Managed by Lunalin na FB Pages. Sa mga nakahanap ng mga libreng printable na reviewers, punta kayo dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Punta kayo sa files ng grupong ito. Para sa detalye kung paano maka-download, ilalagay ko yung link sa description ng video ito. At ito naman yung mga iba pang mga FB groups na lagi natin tinatambayan. Now, let's do number 6. Miss Alvarez inherited 6 over 7 of his mother's state. She sold two-third of her share. What part of the entire state did she sell? Two-third of 6 over 7 ay yan yung binenta niya. Ang of multiplication. So, i-multiply lang natin ito. 2 times 6 and this is 12. 3 times 7 and this is 21. Malis natin yan by finding the greatest common factor. And by the way, para sa detalye kung paano hanapin yung greatest common factor, pwede nyo yung search DCF Dugtungan ng Lunalin para madaling ma-sort out yung previous na natin na-upload regarding kung paano hanapin yung greatest common factors. Now, ang greatest common factor dito ay 3. 12 divided by 3 and that is 4. 21 divided by 3 and that is 7. So, ang sagot dito, 4 over 7. Now, mas magandang i-double check natin. So, mag-example tayo. Example, yung entire state ni mother ay 70. Now, 6, 7 of 70. 6, 7 of 70, 6 times 70. So, this is 10. 10 times 6, 60. Yan yung share. Now, 2 third of 60, ang of multiplication, 2 third of 60, yan yung Benenta niya, sold na yan siya. So, 60 divided by 3 and this is 20. 20 times 2 and this is 40. Yan yung benenta niya, nabenta na yan. Now, dun tayo sa tanong. What part of the entire state, what part of the entire state did she sell? Ang sagot natin ay 4 over 7. 4 over 7 of, ilan ba yan? 70, ang of multiplication, so times 70. 70 divided by 7, and this is 10, so 10 times 4, 40. So, pariho silang 40, ibig sabihin lang yan, na ang sagot nating 4 over 7, to 4 over 7 ay tama. Next, number 7. A water tank is... 7 over 9 full. When 27 liters of water are drawn out, the tank is 4 over 9 full. What is the total capacity of the tank in liters? Udin muna natin yung difference. 7 over 9 minus 4 over 9, and this is 3 over 9. 3 over 9, malis natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 3. 3 divided by 3, and that is 1. 9 divided by 3, and that is 3. So, therefore, itong 27, 27 liters is one-third, one-third of the capacity. Kopyahin si 27, ang is equal yan siya. Kopyahin ang one-third, ang of multiplication. Let C for the capacity. Now, since itong si one-third pang multiply sa C, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 27. So, 27 divided by one-third, tapos C na lang ang natira. 
division of fraction. So, ang division maging multiplication, reciprocal ni one third. So, this is times three over one. One lang naman yan. So, pwede lang three. Twenty-seven times three, and this is eighty-one. So, ang value ni si or yung capacity ay eighty-one liters. Now, para lalo nyo maintindihan kung paano yung itong 27 ay one-third of the full capacity sa tank, let's solve this. Tawagin natin itong Cantu-style way of solving. So, let's solve this the other way. Mag-drawing muna tayo. So, one, bali, i-drawing natin yung tank. Tapos, hati sa nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, nine na hati. The water tank is seven over nine full. So, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I-shade natin itong... 7. So, bali, ito yung tanke. 7 over 9 full. So, ito. Yan yung 7 over 9. When 27 liters of water are drawn out, the tank is 4 over 9 full. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, i-shade natin itong 4. Ito yung Ah, uh, erase na natin to. Ito yung 4 over 9. Therefore, yung 27 liters of water na kinuha, ito yun. Yan yung equivalent sa 27. Ilan yan siya? 1, 2, 3. Therefore, i-divide natin ng 3 to so 27 and this is 9. So, itong 9, yan yung value sa kada hati dito. 9, 9, 9, natit natin yan lahat. So, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Ilang hati yon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Therefore, itong 9 natin dito, i-multiply natin ng 9. Kasi ang tanong, what is the total capacity of the tank in liters? Sa kada box, 9 liters. Lahat ng boxes dito, 9 yan siya. Kasi binabox natin ba para klaro sa inyo. So, 9 times 9 and that is 81. Therefore, ang sagot dito ay 81 liters. Para naman sa pinaka-detalye nito, mayroon na tayong video kung paano ito gawin yung mga ganitong klaseng pag-solve. Ito mga simpleng fraction bali. Ilalagay ko sa description ng video ito yung link na hopefully panuorin nyo rin yun para maintindihan nyo yung ginawa natin dito. Next, number 8. By the way, pagdating sa mathematics, huwag yung pangunahan ng takot. Kasi kung pangunahan nyo ng takot, mawawala na yung concentration nyo. Relax lang. Basahin nyo lang, huwag nyo lang pangunahan ng takot, walang nakakatakot dito. Madali lang ang mathematics. Huwag niyong i-convince ang sarili niyo na mahirap si math kasi lalo kayong mahirapan. Anyway, let's read number 8. After 30 minutes of filling the tank, it is already 3 over 8 full. So, in within 30 minutes. If the capacity of the tank is 9,600 liters, how many liters of water should be added to fully fill the tank? Therefore, sa problem na ito, walang kinalaman itong 30 minutes na yan. Dito tayo mag-focus sa 3 8 full. Ang kabuuan ay isa. Yung kabuuan, 1. Tapos, may nusa natin ng 3 8 para yung mismong natitira. Yung mismong empty na part sa tank. Para ma-minus natin to itong 8, i-convert natin to fraction. So, yung denominator para pariho ay 8. So, numerator, 8. 8 over 8 ay pariho lang sa 1. Bakit 8 ang ginamit natin? Para pariho yung denominator, which is kopyahin lang natin. 
Tapos ang i-deduct natin ay yung mga numerators. 8 minus 3 and that is 5. So therefore, itong 5 over 8, yan yung empty space. 5 over 8 of, of 9,600 liters ay yan yung kulang natin. Anong tanong dito? How many liters of water should be added to fully fill the tank? Ito yung full capacity. 5 over 8, yan yung kulang, yan yung empty space ni tank. So, 5 over 8 of 9,600, uh, 9, yan na yung sagot, yan na yung hinahanap dito. So, ang of multiplication. So, ilagay natin yung multiplication dito. No, multiplication of fractions. Lahat ng mga whole numbers mayroon yung 1 na de denominator, automatic yan. Sa multiplication, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Sa case dito, pwede naman ganito. Yung 96 lang ang i-divide mo ng 8. And that is 12. Tapos kopyahin mo dalawang 0. Tapos ito namang 12 na ito, yan yung i-multiply mo sa 5. Ilan ba yan? That is 60. Tapos kopyahin mo yung dalawang 0 para simple lang ba? So ang sagot ay 6,000, letter B. Thank you for watching and all I hope na meron kayong natutunan sa mga videos natin. Abangan yung karugtong, itong number 9 at number 10. Thank you and God bless.